Hello, Kaz here. Okay, back in the box to see how to put time code on video. So I'm in Premiere Pro, just importing our video which we downloaded off YouTube earlier. So that's the clip right there. And once it's in, I'm just uh, going to drag only the image, uh, just the image because we're just interested in that so that we can be able to apply sound or work on sound for it. So I take the image only and create um, a timeline with it, so no audio. Uh, if you see there, there's uh, in Premiere you can choose either a picture icon or the audio icon if you want to bring audio or both. In this case, I just took the picture. As you can see, that's our video there. So, in order to be able to work on the uh, audio properly, uh, we need time code on there. So I go into the effects and um, navigate through the effects and find uh, the uh, time code generator and we find it in the video folder. Some uh, video editing programs have it inside utility and others uh, have it inside menus that might say generate or something like that. But here it's in video, here, so here, time code. So we just drag it and slam it onto our clip. And there you go. Just make sure that the frame rate matches the video that you're working on. This number will be the same that you will choose in your uh, DAW, like PAL, 25 frames per second, as used in Europe and most of Africa. Then you have NTSC, which is like 30 frames, used in North America and Japan and some other countries. And then you have these uh, crazy uh, fast uh, frame rates that are used in a lot of uh, modern video. And 24 frames used in cinema. Uh, pretty simple, really. But uh, let's have a look here at these different parameters that are for controlling, for example, the size. Um, we can control that. And then we can also control uh, whether there are any markers, um, just which we can switch on and off, which can allow us to uh, pinpoint certain areas then we can change the opacity of the uh, that black thing behind it uh, for clarity depending what type of video it is we can change the positioning horizontally or vertically so that we place it exactly where we would prefer and uh, down here you can change uh, the format of the uh, time code. And we're using SMPTE, but you can have frames, or it can be in feet and frames, as you would use, uh, say, in film, if people are using either 35 millimeter or 16 millimeter film. Uh, but um, we're using SMPTE. Um, it's best for video, because we have hours, uh, minutes, seconds, and frames. So yeah, that's it. Uh, now if the video is playing back, we've got our time code and we can be able to um, import this video into our DAW, be it Logic, Ableton, Cubase, Studio One, whatever, so that we can work on the audio properly. So here I'm exporting it and now when it comes out, it will have the time code um, burnt in so that like it is together with the video. So. Um, and uh, it will be easy. So if I navigate, and now I'm playing that the, the export. All good. We got our time code sorted. Bish bosh. Take care now.